Hey everyone, it's Y here again, and I got a little bit of a different video for you today. This is a concept I came up with, and I'd love to see it implemented into the Master Chief Collection. This feature would require the recently released New Duke controller. For those unfamiliar, the New Duke controller is a re-release of the original controller for the original Xbox back in 2001. This new version of the controller includes an OLED screen that plays the original Xbox boot animation. And as for right now, that's all the screen plays. But lucky for us, in an interview with IGN, the creator of the Duke controller, Seamus Blackley, hinted that the screen may be used for other purposes. Uh, will that screen be used for anything else? I have no comments. I have no comment. <laughs> no comment? No this comment. is an interview show. Wouldn't it be a terrible shame if a full-color OLED display in a controller was only used to play a 30-year-old animation. It's not 30 years old, but it's old, an old <laughs> animation. Wouldn't that be terrible? It would be a little be terrible. A terrible thing. Terrible thing. Yeah. So, with the possibility of other uses for the screen, I decided to create some mock-ups on how MCC can use the Duke screen. When choosing a game in MCC, the background changes to a piece of concept art for that particular game. Along with that, I think it would be really neat to see the original background of the chosen game playing on loop on your controller without any text. Here's a mock-up I did of what it would look like for Combat Evolved. Notice how Combat Evolved is chosen on the screen, and then on the controller, the original menu for Combat Evolved would be playing on loop. Here's the same idea, just conceptualized for Halo 2. Halo 2 is chosen on the screen, but if you look at the controller, a textless version of Halo 2's main menu is playing on loop on the controller screen. Another use for the Duke screen is multiplayer emblems. The emblem could appear on the controller once the emblem's chosen and during a multiplayer match. Along with emblems, 343 Industries could also allow players to use their in-game avatars. And with addition to these features, I'd also like to suggest that there be pre-made images that the player can choose from. For example, the logos from the different games, or even just the word Halo, that way, we can have our Duke look just like the special edition from back in the day. And that'll do it for this video. If you enjoyed watching, please leave a like. And you think you like more of my content? Consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.